Welcome to Texas Today. I'm Kristen Dickerson. Colors can help you look and feel your best. You can find your color palette by getting a personal color analysis at Colorpolitan. Rebecca Reed is the owner of Colorpolitan. She is also a certified personal color analyst. I love that title. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you for being here. I'm so excited that you're here today. We've all been debating. It's like, what is our color? I, I can't wait to find out. I know. You're going to have so many. I know. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about just the importance of color and why it's important for us to know our color palette. Yes. So color is powerful. You know, we look around and color is everywhere, right? So color evokes emotion. It helps us to feel better, uh, also look better, but color can also have a powerful negative effect. Oh, really? If it's the wrong versions for people. Oh, fascinating. And did you know that it's, I think it's around like 90% of first impressions are based on color alone. So what? with like branding, the clothing that we're wearing, the environments that we're in. So color is powerful and it makes a big difference. You need to get it right. Yes. yes. And you are here to help us get it right. What do you yes. offer with your business? Yes. So we start with color analysis okay. and color analysis uh, started back in the 80s. Mm -hmm. And today I use the True Color International Method. It's called the TCI Method. And we are going to go through a systematic approach of color using the Munzel color system and looking at your hue, value, and Roma. You will leave with 65 colors, your best fashion neutrals, black, white, uh, your best versions of red and blue and purple, etc. I can't wait to see you in your colors. Me too. I'm so excited. And then some of the other services offered after color analysis is closet editing, uh, personal styling, shopping, all the fun. And something that clients really also love is knowing their best makeup. Yes. Amazing. So just how to feel and look harmonious and be your best. Color, we all have our own versions of our best colors from nature. And something that I really love about this is it's all about celebrating your beauty. All right, Kristen, so we are going to discover your color palette. Okay, so I put you in neutral gray. This is so I can see your beautiful skin. So lovely. <laughs> uh, and how color works with you. So the first step is I get to wash my face and put yes. my hair back. Yes. Explain why that's important. It's important just like, you know, an artist with a canvas starts with a blank canvas, right? Mm -hmm. So that's what's important for you is that we start with a blank canvas. So taking off your makeup, getting to see your beautiful natural skin and your yeah. different tones of your face, uh, covering the hair if it is colored. Okay. Oh, I oh. like this already. <laughs> Just because I want to get you kind of back to a natural state for you. And then finding those colors that belong with your beauty. Oh, lovely. So it just helps to neutralize you and just give us kind of a clean slate. What is the next step in this so, process? Yes, so the next step is really finding your pattern of your hue, value, and chroma. Okay. So hue is your undertone. Mm -hmm. You have one of four undertones. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you could be warm, uh -huh. which is yellow, uh -huh. in undertone. You could be cool, which is blue or you could be neutral in undertone. So with the TCI method, we, we look at four different undertones, the warm, cool, warm, neutral, and cool neutral. Uh -huh. And 67% of people are neutral. Oh. So it's really important to get your undertone right. Okay, you're a little blue. Yeah, it got really cool. So I have to figure out your, your hue, your undertone, your value range, so from like light to dark colors, oh. okay? So we have lighter versions of colors, yeah. going to medium to dark tones okay so do light does light work for you or, or does it wash it, you out I'm yeah. going to be looking for that how about the medium to the dark okay some people don't need the lightest colors some some people don't need the darkest some people sit right in the middle also your chroma which is if you are soft medium or bright in saturation so soft colors can be balanced for some or it makes them actually kind of muted. Like when color doesn't work well for someone, yeah. you know, you might look a little more dull or washed out. It could be that you're just wearing too soft of colors. So we look for that, your hue, value, chroma, and then finalize your palette going through a whole system of calibrated drapes. Uh -huh. And in the studio here, I use full spectrum lighting. That's really important in order to really see how your skin reacts to different versions of color on you. 
And then uh, we also use this neutral kind of gray. So you're gonna be wearing gray, this cute little cap that everyone loves. <laughs> and then I'm gonna have gray behind you in order to also neutralize like kind of a backdrop behind you. And then once we get our personalized color palette, what do we do with that information? Yes, you have a blast with it. You can go shopping with your color palette. Um, take this to North Park and other places, have fun. I also have clients who love obviously using it for their makeup, right? So some of these palettes, um, well, all of them actually have makeup colors for each person, but like you would pull from these from this palette for like lipstick and blush. Business branding, you could decorate with your home, you know, in your home, use your colors. You can just have so much fun and feel good and look good as well. Are there ever instances when people don't like all of their colors? Yes, but what I like to share with my clients is get to know your colors because over time you will learn to love them because you see how you look better and ultimately even with color psychology you will feel better um, but there's also colors that you just may not choose to wear in your color palette because we have 65 here you know you might decide like hey i don't really love this version of pink or purple you don't have to wear it. Thank you so much for helping me find my personal color palette today. Yes. I appreciate it. I'm so happy to do so. To learn more about Colorpolitan, just go to their website, colorpolitan.com. And you can also check them out on Instagram at colorpolitan.